Welcome all water fire cast signs. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. My friend, this is a water fire energy reading. This is for Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Pisces, Aries. Okay, so let's get in here and see what is going on in your energy uh, where that fire mixes with that water. Okay. Uh, chakras for the month, let's see. Remind, remind you, this is for the present, right? So <clears throat> it's not just for the month, it's for the present as being. This is what Spirit wants you to know is the first card coming out is guilt. Talking about that desire. Um, don't feel guilty about your desires. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth, right? Talking about that beautiful orange coming through with the um, solar, or excuse me, the sacral chakra. And then, of course, getting rooted. And it's really talking about that base chakra as well, where your vitality, your stability is really coming through with the communication, as you can see in the card of all the blue coming through with the communication of the throat chakra, listening, creativity, needing to say something. If you need to speak, you need to speak now. If somebody needs you to listen, you need to listen now. But right now it's saying you need to release any beliefs that no longer assist you for your soul's growth. Right, so if you're keeping on to anything, you're listening to maybe a bunch of nonsense from someone and you know, you know what, that's holding me back. I'm not going to listen anymore because maybe in a lot of ways, you listening to whatever they're saying could be holding you back from, you know, doing what you need to do. Really picking up that really strong. It's holding you back from your desires, your stability. Um, keeping you with the purple over here is talking about that intuition and that third eye, keeping you away from things that you have a better intuitive views of keeping things clear, right? So it could actually fog the, the situation out when you're listening to nonsense, right? <clears throat> Over here, we have the sacral uh, chakra also coming through. We see a lot of sacral in this as well. And also a lot of solar plexus when we're talking about all this yellow. Um, but I do see the reds that are going into the yellows making that desire. So this is the sacred inner space with the sacral chakra. In tenderness and sensuality. So this is going to bring you into a place of more tenderness, more understanding of what it is you need for yourself, bringing in those desires. Make sure that you're at peace with yourself so that you don't have any of these um, worrying beliefs. Right? Sometimes our own beliefs sometimes hold us back. Right? Believing in not maybe magic Hey, if you believe that it's not going to happen, then you're long attracting that that will never happen to me. Believing, right? Guilty of believing that, you know, I'm never going to have this kind of money. I'm never going to have this. I'm never going to have that. You need to take this, the leap of faith and step up, right? And change that belief system, right? Cool your emotions, full moon in Aries. Calm down, relax. See it from a different point of view. Telling yourself that, you know what, I do believe that things can change. I'm not going to listen to this person over here who, you know, is telling me you're never going to be this. You, you can't have that. That's why I just don't tell people my dreams, period. I've stopped, right? I've stopped, and this is because of manifesting, and it is. It's definitely this whole story is about manifesting, manifesting your dreams, waiting for your things to come through. Things that make you steady, sturdy, stable. Things that you desire, opening up your heart chakra. See, he's wearing green because he's saying, my heart chakra is open for my desires. I'm communicating. See all the blues? He's communicating with his higher self for his, you know, intentions. Things he's manifesting with the solar plexus, making sure that solar plexus is very open, keeping himself grounded. He knows what he wants, right? You know what you want. Don't allow your own thoughts of negativity to make you guilty of not getting what you want or maybe you feel guilty because maybe you know you've self-sabotaged yourself or somebody else has maybe somebody else is making you feel guilty <laughs> right and there we go again sacral chakra this is all about keeping that that sacral chakra really open guys wow this is really all about the sacral chakra this is being in you know, the clear understanding of what it is I desire and really manifesting that and not listening to any type of negative 
from other people. I always, like I say, when I'm manifesting, I keep myself, to, my things to myself. It's kind of like when you wish upon a star, you don't tell people what you wish for. Because, you know, even as little kids, it's like you tell, it won't come true. Well, we come to the conclusion, why would they don't come true? Most of it is because you tell, and then somebody says, you can't do that. You can't have that. Oh my God, that's a dream. That's never going to happen. That puts all these other emotions into your your mind. Then it makes you start thinking that maybe they're right. No, that's not the way it works. That is not the way it works, my friends. Right? You blow out your birthday candles. You wish for what you want for the year or for the month or your birthday or whatever. You don't tell no one. Never tell. Don't give people the power and the energy to take your manifestations away from you, your dreams. You know? And some of you, you might even feel like you have something wonderful coming in and you might have told someone and they're like, you're delusional. That is never going to happen. You're tripping. The boss is never going to let you have that office next to the window on the east side. You're tripping. That's like the best office in the whole building. <clears throat> okay. Then they get that into your head and then it, you may start self-sabotaging yourself because then you start my, maybe thinking, maybe they're right. Maybe it is just a delusion. Maybe it is just all an illusion. It's too good to be true. Nope. I always say, you know, manifesting could be a double-edged sword. It's better to manifest it, be positive about it, then to deny it. Because you know what? At least in the end, it's kind of like it's better to have loved and learned than to never have loved at all. Absolutely. It's the same idea. <clears throat> but having other people sabotage you to allow yourself to self-sabotage you, that's worse because now, you know, you may never know. You guys keep your dreams alive. Keep that cycle chakra going. You know who you are, who you really are. Look at that. Manifesting your dreams. You do have someone coming in. You do have some opportunity of some kind of gift coming towards you. Um, you know, it could be from an earth sign. It could be from a Capricorn or a Virgo. It could be a Taurus. This is my Capricorn Virgo card. But for me, um, but this is talking about because of the stability. They see the stability. They see the heart chakra. You are very stable. Uh, keeping those opportunities at hand, allowing these offers to come towards you, seeing the bigger picture. If you can imagine when you are manifesting, if you can imagine that you're already holding this pinnacle, when you guys are manifesting, I want you to see it as you already own it. What are you doing with it? What is the intention of it? How it's going to make you feel? Add the emotions. Chakras are all about emotion anyways, right? It's a code. It's an emotional code that goes to the mind, right? Imagine it, see it, use it. What am I using it for? You know what you're using it for. Feel the emotion when you're, when you're using it. Feel like it's already yours. There's happiness behind it. Keep that, uh, you know, those higher vibrations, right? You may feel like it's not coming in right now, so you might feel like you have three of swords at this time, feeling like, you know, there's, there's no happiness, it's not coming through. Um, that would be release those beliefs that no longer serve you for the spiritual growth, for the manifestation to come through. Do not allow yourself or someone else to stab you from your dreams. Hold you back. Release those, those tensions, those thoughts of negativity. Replace them with, like I said, and visualize holding this, loving it, happiness, bring that smile to your face. Because you know that when you can visualize that, think of the emotion that you have when you're going to have that. Just think of it. Oh my God. You know, I just got this promotion. And then think of how happy you're going to feel and bring that up, right? Bring that to life. 
that's how manifestations really work, and that's how they really, really, really help. Um, you do have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be manifesting a new love, but remember also to look in the cups of emotion over here. That's what I was just talking about, feeling those emotions and knowing your emotions, how you're using the tools within yourself, within the Queen of Pentacles. She holds the pinnacle. She sees the pinnacle. She can manifest a lot because she knows how to grip onto those dreams, use those tools, get what she needs. She nurtures everyone. She's comfortable. She can manifest so well. If it's new love and you're looking for this, maybe Capricorn, Cancer, <clears throat> Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Virgo. You know what you're doing. All right? Could even be manifesting a Capricorn Aquarius. Because I see the... Queen of Pentacles sitting next to the Aquarius card. Air sign card. Virgo Libra. Could be another cusp. So however it is, you could have those in their chart. Gemini as well. Yes. Seeing where you are moving. Look at me. I'm moving. I can see the world. I'm holding the world. Visualizing the world in your hands. Knowing that you have the walking stick to do so. The walking stick is saying this is where my power is. This is where I'm going. The waters that he's looking out into are very calm, reassuring, knowing that he's waiting for his ships to come in, really manifesting on what it is in the world that he really wants. And he's very grounded. Not only is he using that beautiful um, sacral chakra as he's, you know, wearing this orange, saying this is my desire to watch everything come to light, really visualizing it coming into, um, you know, into uh, reality. Let's put it that way. His, his cape over here is very dark brown, um, which browns and blacks are really talking about that earth star chakra saying, I'm very grounded. I know where my roots are. I know where I'm going and I'm stable and I feel very stable with my red hat on. I know exactly where I want and where I want to go. Feeling the soul's growth, knowing that you are actually manifesting something that is coming through, right? For a lot of you, it could be it could be love because I see the red roses over here just really popping out at me. And we do have the Queen of Cups. So if you do know that you are manifesting a true love, it's almost like I'm waiting for them. I can feel them coming. Maybe somebody told me, you know what, this is not coming. But maybe your intuition is telling you, you do know. You just need to release the belief of fear or release the belief of, you know, whatever it is that's holding you back. Maybe you have somebody around you who's jealous and they want to bring on the heartache over here with the three of swords, trying to tell you that, you know, this is stupid, they're never coming, or true love doesn't exist, or you're trying to manifest something that's never going to happen. Um, don't believe any of that. Believe in magic always. Because the magic is really the universe saying, you know what, this is, this is what's magical. Magical is always something that's unexpected. It's always something that can take you by surprise. Why not? <laughs> As I always say from the Blues Brothers, God works in mysterious ways, Elwood. Right? And you have the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Universe says, you, you keep strong. I have, look at that. Now look, you're looking at this pinnacle over here and you're saying, I'm going to visualize that I have this. I'm manifesting this pinnacle. And then look at, <laughs> the universe says, here's the pinnacle that you're manifesting. I'm bringing it in. Here it comes. So as you're visualizing it, manifesting it, wanting it, and wanting this person to give it to you, and waiting for it, the universe says, okay, here it comes. Keep your chakras going. I got you. Now it's like in the knowing the universe says, here's your, here's your reward, no matter how small or how big. The pinnacle doesn't mean that it's huge, and it doesn't mean that it's tiny either. The pinnacle is what you're manifesting. So if you're manifesting something very small, then it's going to be what it is. If you're manifesting something huge, it could be just that. The universe gives you what you need. 
that you want what you desire somehow or another. If you know that it's just, you know, the payout that you need to keep yourself stable, to live, to be who you need to be, that's what it'll be. Might not always be exactly what, you know, you think it is. Because think of it this way. <clears throat> and I've said this before. You might have been manifesting someone that you think is going to be your true love. If you're manifesting love. The universe might tell you, you know what, that's not the person I want for you. That person does not harbor what you think they have. You deserve something better. You deserve something more magical. Because you might be looking for someone who tells you all these sweet things, but then it's only puppy love. It, will, it won't last. So I'm going to give you something that's going to last. I'm going to give you this pinnacle. A pinnacle is grounded. It lasts. It's not just some fiery energy that's going to burn out. And they may say that too. So you might be trying to manifest a Capricorn and you might end up with, you know, a Pisces. You know, you see what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be any of those signs, guys. Just throw that away. It's just an example of the idea is one could be just fiery and they're saying that's not the person you think that's going to last. But I got this other person in mind for you. And boy, will you be surprised. So sometimes it's such a surprise that it could be, you know what I'm saying? Could be even different and more exciting than what you thought it was. Uh -huh. The unexpected surprise of stability. Money could be having this wealthy person coming into your life, or you might be a wealthy person who is leaving something behind. That's where it's saying, I might feel guilty because maybe I thought this is where I wanted to be and I don't want to be here. So I'm going to move towards these pinnacles. This it's going to make you very wealthy. Because you're getting the Ace of Pentacles. So as the Ace of Pentacles comes in, it says this is where your wealth is. Leave behind what never does not serve you anymore. doesn't matter what it is. You guys know what it is. I'm not going to go into all the details of what you're leaving behind. Okay? You know what you're leaving behind. You know what your dreams and desires are with the moon. If it's love, it's love. If it's a new job, it's a new job. If it's an old car that's a lemon and you know it's sucking out your money and you need a new car, then you know what it is. Right? You'd be here all day trying to figure out what everybody wants. But what it's trying to tell you is I'm giving you something very stable, something that is going to make you feel stable, make you feel like the King of Pentacles, make you feel like you're on the world and you have the world at your fingertips. This is the stability that you've been looking for. This is the love you've been looking for. This is the item, material, whatever that you have been looking for. And you're going to walk away from what doesn't serve you, whether it's a thought a person's thoughts, somebody holding you back, somebody telling you negative things, things that do not serve you. Walking away with your walking stick. Now, this is very interesting because here we go again with the walking stick. Because the walking stick over here says, I'm taking this, I'm leaving these cups behind. They don't serve me anymore. And I'm walking away with my walking stick for stability, the red, for the vitality of the base root chakra, because I want to be stable. I know where I want to be. I need happiness. I need what I need. And then here you are. The same walking stick saying, you know what though? <laughs> now I'm looking out at exactly what I want because this no longer serves me. These thoughts, this energy does not serve me. And now I'm going to look out into the calmer waters and say, this is what I really truly want. And this is where I'm really going. And bam, that's when the Ace of Pentacles comes in. <clears throat> like you're holding the pinnacle here, looking at the tools that you have within yourself, nurturing that pinnacle. You want that pinnacle. You want it. You're using the tools to get it. Universe gives it to you. Bam, now you got it again. But the only difference is now you have it in reality. Really holding tight to it. Really saying this is where my stability is and this is what I have. This is mine. So it goes from a manifestation to working with the tools within yourself of releasing to having. Wow. And if you have to walk away from something else after the king of you become the king of pentacles, after you have this, then you definitely will. Because it says right here, you're cut through all the bullshit, get to the knowledge, have the understanding, because this is going to put you in a place of power and communication, because now you have a better understanding, because now your soul's growth has grown. You have better knowledge, better understanding of what's going on around you. You're super awake. 
super analytical thinking. So you could even be saying, you know what? And now that I become this, I walked away from that before, but maybe I need to even take it further. That way I can have ace of wands too. Oh, geez. Wow. Take it to the next level. Let's go after this because now I have the progress, the understanding. So the universe says, hey, you got the progress and the understanding and you're really thinking about everything that's going on around you. You've really grown, right? You have ascended. You have your sacral chakra. You understand desire. You have transcended. You're using your sensual will your sensuality and your tenderness toward yourself and the things that you need. So now I'm going to give you another ace. All right. Yeah. The ace of wands. Now you get to have something that you're even more passionate about. So now really bringing in the growth, really bringing in the passion so that you can manifest again. Wow. With the sun coming out. Holy shit. Only for the fact, wow, my nose is itching. Hold on. My intuition is like opening up like, Hardcore. So now you have the death over here and now it's saying, yeah, because now you're transcended. You have let go of what no longer serves you. You have transcended. You have the gatekeeper over here who is the what? The hierophant over here. The hierophant says yes for the good choices. You understand you have become wiser to the situation. So now you're telling this, you're saying, okay, that's fine. Because now I'm not even the same person I was before. Now I have the better understanding of where I'm going, what I'm doing. And completely metamorphosizing your life. Right? You come out of your cocoon and you become this beautiful butterfly. People might not even see you the same way. They're going to be like, what happened to you? You don't even seem the same. You got this pinnacle over here. You became the king of pinnacles and I don't even know who you are. And you're like, good. Good. And you should do the same. Stop living your life for, for you know, thinking that I can't have nothing. I've learned that this is not the way life is. If I downplay myself all the time, I'm not getting anywhere. If I allow people to downplay me, I'm not getting anywhere because that's negative thinking that rubs off on my energy and keeps me down. And I have learned to refresh. My soul is fresh. My soul is renewed. I've taken on a rebirth and a transformation. So not only have you rebirthed, you have turned into a beautiful butterfly as well. And they won't. They probably won't see you the same. And you'll probably go out and buy new clothes and do all kinds of things and get your hair done. Something different is going to be about you and you're going to shine. You are going to shine. You are going to be so different. And you're waiting. And this is what's going on, my friends. And, you know, absolutely. You're becoming the nine of pentacles as well as the, you know, and weighing those pros and cons. Saying, you know what? Now I know how to multitask. Now I know how to do things. I know exactly where I'm going, where I'm traveling. You could be even traveling a lot. But you're traveling on this new path to where you can look at things, right? Look at your pinnacles. Look at the things around you. Juggle the things you want and juggle the things that are no longer good for you. And if somebody crosses your path, you're going to juggle them and say, hmm, I don't know. You're going to talk negative and down to me because if you are, I'm out. Because I am not the same person. Look at me. I'm the king of pinnacles and the nine of pinnacles, so... Right? Like I said, you might be getting a new wardrobe, feeling better about yourself, feeling like you're juggling, you know, good energies. You might even be changing some people around in your group because you're not going to want to associate yourself with people who keep people down, people who are negative, people who talk bad, people who don't want growth. Single. You might be single, ready to mingle. However it is. But no matter what it is, whether you're single or not, it's about how you're taking care of yourself with the Nine of Pentacles, looking after yourself, knowing who you are, knowing your self-worth, knowing I know who I really am and what I can do. Not allowing people to walk on you, use you as a doormat, tell you your dreams are trash. Yeah, well, watch this. My dreams are trash, huh? That's why I got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. I became the King of Pentacles, and I'm the Nine of Pentacles. And I got the Sun, which is the best card in the whole the whole deck besides the Ace of, to me, the Ace of Cups. But, uh, you know, and then the Star card, which I just love to see, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. We got the victory. So you're going to tell me that everything that I'm doing is not good? Mm -hmm. That's why I've got the Six of Wands. 
I'm the star of the show, my own show, my own world. Walking into this beautiful world with victory, feeling like you're victorious. You got your white horse. You feel pure, renewed, energetic, knowing how to manifest, how to do things. You're probably kind of the star of the show right now because your energy is going to change so much that if you are looking for love, oh boy, are they coming in, right? Yeah, coming in like, like, hello, here I come. Hi, who are you? And you'll be like, whoa, okay, hello. Wow, hello, you had me at hello. Ah, wow. Well, hello there, you had me at hello. Now you're the inference. So they're looking at you, they're coming at you saying, wow. You got an eyebrow and they were like, or an eyelash, excuse me. Raised an eyebrow, bat an eyelash, and they're like, wow. Look at you. <sighs> coming into your own power. Very, very beautiful, my friends. Coming into your own power. Yeah, look at that. No, no more burden. Hey, are you coming to burden me? Because if you are, guess what? <laughs> you could be on your way out the door. You better be someone good because I'm not putting up with anyone's crossroads. <clears throat> right? Taking back your power and your authority, my friends. Until next time, keep up with those chakras. You guys are on a beautiful mission. Till next time.